Today I want to show you a really cool technique in Adobe Animate. We're going to use something called the Asset Warp Tool. Let me show you how this thing works. I'm going to start by creating an image. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to animate it in a different way than what you're used to. So for example, let's say I have something kind of like a starfish type thing. Make something real simple. Let's say I want to animate this and have the arms move around. Now, traditionally, we might have to redraw it frame by frame. It could be kind of complicated. Let me show you how this works. So this particular tool looks like a thumbtack, basically. Um, I'm going to click on it. And you'll notice over here, when you click on it under the tool properties, you've got a couple options here. One is to create bones, right? And you can have that turned off or you can have it turned on. I'm going to have it turned on. I'll show you what I mean. So then, now that that's turned on, I'm going to click twice, and look what happens. You'll notice that there is a little grid that is displayed. And as I move my mouse, we see this little triangular thing pop out. This is what we call the bone tool, basically. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go up to here, and I'm going to click. And then I'm going to, I can keep going and adding more. Let's say I wanted to add toes. Watch this. I could click, right? Now, if I go again, it wants to keep going, but to stop it, I click again on the red dot, and then I start over again by clicking right here, and I could do another one. And I click on it again to stop. Now, let's see, I'll branch over from here. So I click here to start, and then I pull, right? I just pull and click, and I'll just click again. I won't add any toes to this one. I'll start again, click, and I'm pulling over here. I click, I click again to stop it. Then I start over again, click, pull, click, click to stop, and one more, click, pull, click, and click to stop. Now, watch, this is where the magic happens. I'm going to use, um, still on the same tool, I'm going to pull. Now watch what happens when I pull, see this outline, look what happens when I let go. It moves, right? It actually warps the object and you can you can go out you can go in you can go around and you can move any of these bones essentially what's happening is you're moving the bones and then that moves the body itself that the bones are attached to just like in a human being so let's say i move this over a little bit i'm going to move these let's say these are going to be like the legs and uh, i'm going to keyframe this now watch this i'll go down to say frame 30 or so whatever I'll go to Insert Timeline Keyframe. And then at this point, I will change things around. I'm still on the same tool here, right? I'm still over here in the thumbtack. I haven't gone off the Asset Warp tool. And I'm just going to move uh, my joints around a little bit and change it. And you'll see that I've made a change. Now, again, I have to click inside this gray area and create a classic tween. Now, when I go to control test movie, look what's going to happen. It's going to go very fast, but it's actually going to show the animation that I've created. Now, you see how this is actually a really interesting way to create, especially organic types of movements in an object. It gives you a whole other approach to doing your animations is to be able to use this technique of using this new tool, the asset warp tool. And that is basically how you do it. You can actually, as a note, um, if you don't have the bones selected in your tool, right? If you go to the tool and you turn off the Create Bones feature, um, when you do make a shape, you can actually move it around as well, right? I could create another shape, for example. Here, let me just add another layer here. Let's see, I have a different type of shape here, just a blob. And if I use the tool, but this time I have the bones turned off, and I click it twice, you'll see now it doesn't actually make bones. Every time I click, it just adds really what they call a joint, right? So I could actually, this is another way of moving things around. I could create these little joints around my object, and then, of course, I can, um, I can click them and move them around. And you could do an animation this way as well right, depending on the type of shape. So 
the bone option just gives you an ability to, to like move things like appendages, like legs and arms and so forth. This is also an equally valid way to use this particular tool. So I think you'll have a lot of fun experimenting around with this new tool.